Hello everyone, Brett here, Lionheart84, and I thought I'd do an update video on my oldest and largest tropical guava. Um, not the tallest one, I've got, I have got one that's a lot taller, but this was the very first guava I got probably about five years ago. Like all the others, it tends to uh, defoliate and die back badly in winter, unfortunately. Um, and if you've followed my channel for several years or looked through my old guava playlists, this was also the first one that I got uh, that got root rot. I think it was in the first or second year because I probably didn't know what I was doing at all. And I must have overwatered it at the wrong time. And uh, it died back badly and I ended up... Uh, attempting a bare, well I did bare root it and cut it right back to a bare very short thin stem and I wasn't sure if it was going to recover uh, and it did come back and it sort of gone from strength to strength ever since, I mean in terms of getting bigger but what it hasn't done, um, it has flowered for me on occasions no flowers this year because unfortunately it died back too badly last uh, winter it really really did suffer and it's taken it as, as good as it looks now it's taken it the whole summer to uh, recover to the level it's at so of course it's too late for it to produce any flower buds but even when it produced flower buds of course it never um, sets or produced fruits because as usual they flower sort of um, late summer into early autumn and it's too late for the fruits to set which is a problem I get with guavas every year um, and therefore I've never had fruits on them and probably never will. Um, the cherry guavas do fruit for me intermittently, but they're behind this year because they suffered bad dieback as well. So, um, But it's a shame not to have seen flowers on this. This is a white flowered one. I have no idea what the guava is. It was just bought from someone like Sutton's or Thompson & Morgan. It was just a random unnamed guava when it was very hard. Well, it's hard to get. It's nearly impossible to get them here now anyway. Um, in this country but occasionally they crop up but um, it was just nice to get a guava plant and I've kept it alive now for a few years I just wish that I could find a way to get it to um, to flower early in the year but the problem is they always die back so badly over winter it takes them all summer to recover enough before they get to the flowering stage and we're too late now because obviously we're um, uh, into the second half of October anyway I still thought I'd uh, thought it, it merited a video because it is my largest and oldest plant um, in terms of bushness and the stems it's very mature um, I'm not going to cover it last winter I tried covering it in a polythene bag that still died back although it held a few more leaves and it got terribly badly infested with um, scale and mealy bugs inside the bag so I'm thinking I might leave it in the kitchen without the bag on this year and see if I just spray it occasionally what happens Anyway, thanks for watching the video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, of course. Share the video. Think anybody would be interested. And remember to click on that bell if you'd like to know when new videos come out. See you all soon. Brett out for now.